In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a picture frame. This picture frame is available for sale on my website. First off, uh, we need to make a new board. And here again, I'm going to use a standard of 14 by 14 by 0.75. It comes up with the wood grain and has the uh, crosshairs on it for laying out your work. I'm going to change change it from the wood grain to something that is easier to see on a layout like this, at least for me. And I'm going to add a grid to it. <clears throat> what I'm going to do here is make a picture frame that is going to be one and a half inches thick. But we're going to do two cuts and the two will be glued together once it has been carved. Start off, I'm going to make a line segment and uh, just start from here and go over here. That's the first one. And then I'm going to do a line segment again for the second one. And I'll go from here over to here. Okay, now I got two lines on there. The first line, I'm going to click on it. I can get rid of the grid now. And I'm going to go up and do a sweep rounded. And we're going to start building the profile here. Okay, this is the white line which corresponds there. So what I want to do is come on this side of it and start doing my profile. As you see, I'm zooming in and I want to get a grid on here so I know about where I'm going to go. <clears throat> As I said, I'm going to go three and a half inches. So looking at the starting point here, it's one inch here, two inches, three, three and a half inches, somewhere about here. So I'm going to put myself a line here just so I know where my end point's at. Now I've got a starting point here and an ending point about here. The profile I'm going to use, I'll start drawing it here now. I'm going to start with a arc tool and go up here. Pull the arc in the way I want I'm wanting it here. Now a line tool, as I said, I'm just going to draw this in fairly quickly here. And then going back and forth on different tools to do what I want to do here. I'm leaving the base a little bit thicker here than you actually have to have it, but it doesn't hurt anything. Now I'm going to move down to this end and start doing the profile here. Basically, just something that makes it look halfway decent. If I messed up on that one, I'll start it over. I should have broke the line before I tried to delete something there. Because they are jointed lines. I lost all of my work. Okay, we'll start over. <laughs> wasn't watching the other end there. Not that big of a deal to start over. And I just continue to make in the pro put in the profile that I'm wanting here. to be small one and large one here. Two, two large ones, small one in, in the middle. A straight line here to go across right about here. And we'll go on up from here, continuing on with the profile. So as you can 
see that's what the profile is going to look like. I'll get rid of this one here. Now I'm going to do an OK. And there's our profile. As you can see, the picture frame profile. All you have to do is carve it, put your 45 degrees on each end to the length that you want for each side of the picture frame and you're good to go. Now I'm going to move up to this one since I said it's an inch and a half. I want to do this one but I'm going to make it a little bit fancier. Now I can go on either side here. This is to the center so I'm just going to go right here and I'm going to put a grid on here again. This one I want to make it three inches. So and make it at three inches. Yes, I do need to come this this direction here. So we're looking at one inch, two inch, one inch, two inch, three inches. Right about right in there. I'm going to put me a line just so I know where I'm at. Okay, now this one. What I'm wanting to do on it is I want to put an angle because it's going to fit on the other profile but yet I want the the outside edge of it to be kind of angled down from where the first curve ended up at. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to come in right about right in here and I'm going to bring it down to right about here and I'm going to do another line bring it over to here and that basically completes that one get rid of this line right here <clears throat> click on that one and we went the wrong direction Okay, let's reverse that around then. I can bring this whole line over on this side. And do it okay. There we go. Now, whenever I look at it here, you can see that's angled down so whenever that goes on it's going to go right on here angled down and come fit in here it is shorter than this one this is three and a half this is three inches when they fit together you automatically have your rabbit here for your picture so keep that in mind whenever you're designing this whenever you're cutting it all up and we should say okay that is the picture frame enjoy thank you for watching